that we know about tofu. Uh, we saw in the street like they were selling some and also uh, we ate some at the restaurant. It's really good and really spicy. Eating tofuki while thinking about Jimin. <laughs> we know it from uh, K drama. Yes. You know? And uh, this year there's a lot of like uh, new uh, kinds of tofuki. Yes. You know, like rose tofuki, like yes. with cheese and everything. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's really, it's really so, good. So good. And it's not <laughs> that spicy, so uh, it's, <laughs> it's easier yes. for us. Hi, it's Kay again. It looks like our international friends really enjoy fusion tteokbokki. Let's go ahead and check those out. Wow, what is all this? Rose meat tteokbokki, donna jjajangna, shibokki. These are all tteokbokki menus. Just by looking at how tteokbokki is made here, you know it's going to be good. <gasps> wow, look at the fireball. That's going to add some flavor. Let's try the seafood tteokbokki first. The rice cakes you saw being cooked earlier are mixed with green onions, glass noodles, fish cakes, mussels, and clams. Throw in an octopus at the very end, and you've got a dream combination. Ah, 네 해물이 들어간 어 저희 메뉴명은 시복기인데요. 어 바다시의 이름을 따서 그 해물 떡볶이라고 생각하시면 되세요. 네, 어 저희 가게에서 어 제일 인기가 많은 메뉴 중에 하나예요. I'm not sure if we're eating seafood stew or tteokbokki here. No wonder it's such a popular menu. Let's also try the rose meat tteokbokki. I still wonder how they're going to pull off that combination. But what's for sure is that a lot of ingredients go into this dish as well. 아무래도 저희가 대표 메뉴가 해물 떡볶이 시볶이다 보니까 어 처음에 찾으시는 분들은 아무래도 그 해물이 더 많은데 그 로제를 드셔 보신 분들이 좀 단골이 좀 많이 있어요. 그래서 어 드셔 보신 분들은 재방을 많이 하시는 메뉴이기도 해요. 아무래도 떡볶이를 먹고 싶은데 매운 맛을 좀못 드시는 나라 그런 나라 약간 일본 같은 경우에는 그래서 로제를 좀 선택하지 않나 싶기도 해요. 떡볶이 is best eaten spicy, but if your stomach is too weak for spicy foods, I'd recommend that you try this rose tteokbokki. There's a lot of fun in choosing the kind of tteokbokki you want out of such a long menu. As for me. I prefer the original tteokbokki recipe because it reminds me of my childhood. Let me show you around some of my favorite tteokbokki spot. Here we are at another tteokbokki restaurant, which is also close to a university campus. It's been here for 30 years, and this must be the owner. Wow, it turns out that this restaurant is really popular. A famous mukbang YouTuber and singer Song Ga-in were also here. They're busy preparing the rice cakes that were delivered just this morning because the lunch crowds will be coming in soon. 오전에는 준비가 많아요. 오전엔 오전엔 준비하고 오후에는 이제 팔기만 하는 거지. 떡볶이는 밀떡이야. 왜냐면 저기 쌀떡은 이 양념에 배질 않아요. 깊게 배질을 안 하. I love flour-based rice cake. Wait a minute, I know this person. It's the owner of the restaurant who we saw earlier on the sign. She apparently spent many years perfecting her recipe that everyone comes to love. Let's go with the owner's recommendation and get some tteokbokki with a side of fried veggies and kimbap. My mouth is watering just from listening to the sounds of the fire and the cutting. Ta-da! These are some of my all-time favorites. 
We have spicy tteokbokki, warm fish cake soup, freshly fried vegetables, and mini kimbaps. Ah, oh, I'm so happy right now! Tteokbokki is the kind of soul food that brings back a lot of memories for people who grew up in Korea. Many customers here also say that having a plate of tteokbokki in front of them makes them feel as if they traveled back in time. I hope you enjoyed going on a Dokboki tour with me today. If you want to learn more about Dokboki, then follow me right now.